In the name of the people of Azalea, thank you, King, for helping us in the difficult situation. You would not forget? Okay, good. <gasps> oh, what is that? No! Daenerys, he did it again to me! But I treated you so well! Well, this kingdom is not going to rule itself. It is up to us to make sure it either flourishes or it burns in a fiery inferno. And that's a possibility too because we have decided to marry Daenerys, which it means she can indeed turn to a dragon and burn us to a crisp if she so desires. Nothing can possibly go wrong. Good morning, my lord. Today is a very important day for you. Your wedding and coronation is so beautiful. I have no words. Your princess should have arrived at the castle already. Speaking of, uh, Annie, aka Daenerys. Good day, my son. I am happy for your decision. I think the Hapanar would bless our connection. The wind of the Dark Lands itself would dance at our wedding. Sounds very ominous, but sure. Greetings, Lord. I am Hannes, the local priest. I believe we can begin the ceremony. Let's indeed do that. Any deer for me to hunt here meanwhile? No, no. Sorry, don't mean to ignore you, monk, but, um, you know. Supplies are always very important, no monk, no deers, okay. Usually the bond between the king, queen, and one god must be witnessed by the great shepherd. Right, the great shepherd, that's who we decided to bypass and just call the monk over. In order to crown a lord, however, in the shepherd's book, it is said that any servant of the one god can perform the coronation ceremony. Good, then do it. We have come here together to tie our future king and queen in the bond of marriage. Do you agree to respect each other and to rule this land wisely and fairly? She does. <laughs> I disagree. I'm not sure. What am I disagreeing to? Ruling fairly? I mean, if we're going to be honest, probably we should choose disagree because I'm not. But am I disagreeing to the marriage, I guess? I guess that would probably be more appropriate, right? Fine. We'll agree. Don't want to piss this woman off and have her turn to a dragon. Your Majesty, we have guests. Some lords have arrived to congratulate you with your coronation. Good. Um, I hope they are bringing a lot of goods because you know, I can make these. Yeah, okay. I got a little bit of money and a little bit of um, happiness, apparently. You're only going to give me two gold on my, my wedding? You, you cheapskates? The lover? Your Highness, accept this gift from the heirloom of the lover. Apparently this heirloom didn't really cost too much, now did it, the lover? And a plus one from this guy, even worse. Get out of here! Ah! Your Majesty, the people want a big celebration to honor your coronation. We can sort the feast, but it would cost us a fair bit. Uh, let's see then. I just want to have... I'm not even sure what darkly means. And that sounds terrible. <laughs> let's do darkly, sure. Oh! Oh no! Oh no! Necromancer, look, no offense, buddy. But I, I don't want you anywhere near my marriage, okay? Or my wedding, anyway. My lord, it is amazing that you chose this path. We can perform the sacrificial ritual for the demons. Our knights will become stronger and faster. Oh, really? Well, I mean, if they become stronger and faster, we can... Op <laughs> what is happening here? Really? We could do that. Kill the heretics. This is, like, probably the best choice of options I have ever seen right now. Demon sacrifice. We have demon sacrifices? Well, I mean, how could I not choose this one? Is the going to get mad? I hope not. Okay, so happiness went up and religion went down. Oh, my lord, I didn't expect such... sensuous... from you. It's good that your wife is not aware, otherwise it could be a scandal. Oh. Don't worry, right? We're not tell her. Good. Good. You don't understand, dude. You can't tell her a thing about this. She... she could turn into a dragon at any moment, counselor. My lord, I am the chief of your mine. We have an accident. We have had an accident. A significant part of the mine has collapsed and cut off part of the miners. It sounds by the screams that they are still alive and could be safe. I think either way we're gonna basically have to either sacrifice guardsmen or money. I guess I'm gonna have to pay for the rest, because how much are we talking about here? Ten? Okay, you know what? That's not that bad. That's not that bad. We got through fine- oh god. Hey, um, you're not here to kill me for the orgy, right? Nobody told you about this. I have rev I have read your list of laws. There's nothing here about a wedding night. Well, I mean, it should just be common sense, wouldn't you say, Daenerys? I thought maybe you could show me what a northern queen should do in her first night. Refuse and kick out. <laughs> Look, baby, I got kingdoms to rule, right? Let's just sleep or come here. I mean... Look, if at this point, I can't be offending her if I ask her to come here, right? We're freaking married! 
Let's just sleep? I mean, this is something we'll probably do in two years when we're tired of each other and we want to basically be with other people. But we don't do it because of the, you know, the premise of the kingdom. It requires us to continue to be together. You know, it's kind of like a loveless marriage. You do it for the kids. Come here. I knew that you would like it, my king. In the Shadowlands, we call this the Triple Horsewoman. <laughs> triple Horsewoman away, baby. Good morning, your majesty. As usual, today is an important day. The first decision of the agenda, sir. We could build an arena for tournaments and night training. Or a church to serve the one god and collection of taxes. Oh, well, there is also the storage project. They would increase our level of stock goods. I think we're doing really good in goods, um, in stock goods anyway, because our food's really high. I like the idea of training, but at the same time, the church is very low, so it feels like we might have to do church for this one. Oh! Got him. I guess we'll do church. Well, that's new. I don't remember. I mean, I've never done church before, so that could be new. I'm not sure. All I can tell you is that in all the runs that I did in my first series on this, I never got this, so who knows. Wise decision, my lord, the Church of the One God will help us strengthen the belief of our subjects. A believing subject would not become a cultist, sir. It may even donate a coin or two. Oh, good, good. Yeah, let's go ahead and um, drain them of all their money through religion. Why not? Your Majesty, there appears to be a large army on the horizon. Oh, God. If my sky class does not lie, it's the Great Shepherd of the Edicon with his holy entourage. Oh, it's the Great Shepherd, huh? Mm-hmm. Is this going to be a problem because we have Necromancer? I hope not. I mean, I can't fight this dude straight up, can I? He's the Great Shepherd. I don't think my, my holy stat is high enough to get by this discretion. Lord, the Shepherd of Edekan is here for me. Go let him in. He wants our debt. I mean, does he want our debt or does he want yours? Because, see, I'm still not completely sold on you not turning on me at the end, Necromancer. Let's see if I can execute this guy now. My lord, we executed the Dark Sorcerer as you commanded. It seems that for some reason he couldn't make use of his dark magic. Very well, your grace. I will command the gates to be open for him. So he's, he's gone. He's gone. He's dead. Okay. I think he couldn't do anything because we didn't really dive into the dark magic so we didn't make him too powerful. I think that's the case. I just don't want to risk it and him turning on me and like, we don't get to day 11 because this scumbag has a way of turning on you at the end and I don't want that happening this time around. Good day, Lord. I assume you know who I am, the Great Shepherd of Edekon, the voice of the One God. Before we continue, I'd like to walk, talk through your actions, Lord. You see, I have plenty of informants and I know many things, but let's go point by point. Alright, what do you know, buddy? Let's start from the beginning. You have slain the villagers who came for your help and took everything they had. <laughs> Then you build mines and force your people to work. Well, what do you mean, force them to work in there? Everybody pulls their weight around here, buddy. The mines were for them, too. It was, it was work for them. What, they don't want jobs now? Oh, we want to just live free. I don't want to put in the work to be part of society. Get out of here with that. There's also rumors that the necromancer that escaped from the Holy Entourage went directly into your castle. <laughs> and uh, resurrected an army of the dead. Um... Uh, it was a lie? Uh, a lie? That too is right, I don't have evidence for these rumors. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The commoners are lying. Obviously, if you- if we had a necromancer, you'd see him. He's obviously not here, so it never happened. I think we got out of that one. Those who died in the battle of Kalaha were buried in accordance. I am glad that you honor our traditions. I did bury them. Well, you managed to restore the destroyed structures lost in battle. That is respectable. That I did. Then your mines had a cave-in, but you paid for the rest. I did pay! So, you see what we got here, Great Shepherd? Three good deeds to two bad ones. And I also built that church, too. Oh, I nearly forgot, you have- I did! I just said that! So, three good deeds and a church built. To two bad ones and a lie from commoners. Maybe even two lies from commoners, for all I know. As I was told, you have already married, this is a violation- oh. But wait, no, I was told the monk is fine, because he's part of the One God as well. Your decisions were rather controversial in the eyes of the One God. I cannot bless you to rule, but I cannot burn you for your sins either. Only time will tell what kind of king you have been. Oh, he's leaving! We made it! Oh, that was a close one. Oh, I'm so glad we built that church. I think that's probably put us over the edge. Okay, he's gone. The necromancer's dead. All right. All right. <laughs> I think we're fine. Good night, thank you. We've made it to day 8. 
I'm trying so hard to get us to this new content after day 11, as I apparently smack my microphone. The sun is shining and another great day awaits, Saya. Now that you are officially coordinated and all the issues with the Erekana are sorted, it is time to talk politics, sir. Uh, oh, this is where I can rule other nations and invade them or whatever. No, no, I already got it. I know that. Yo, this Church of the Gods sermon is going pretty good. Gotten two points of, um, well, church points. Got four gold, a little bit of protection. Effectiveness is still rising. 70 effectiveness. Lightning, protection, and freedom. That's a really good combination. Okay, um, yeah, yeah. What's up, dude? Your Majesty, while our builders are resting from yesterday's construction, we can hire some workers and invest some gold to build something else. We're at 40 gold at the moment, huh? Oh, I could use still dark power. Even with the guy not here, I could use the dark power, huh? Hmm. Well, let, let's hold off on that before I commit to it. Uh, sure. What can we build? A farm? That would be for food, which is looking fine. Forge, probably for army and marketplace money. You know what? Marketplace sounds good, actually. Give me the marketplace. Cost me 20, but you know what? I think we can sell goods here, right? Yes. And since we have a lot of happiness, let's sell off for happiness for money. Actually, that was food. But let's also sell off happiness and a little... Uh, actually, that's health. This is happiness. All right, that's good, right? Yeah. I think that's fine. And as a matter of fact, give me a little bit more on the army side and I may sell off a bit more of that. I even sell off the church if I want to. Yes. Okay. Good. Now we're a little bit evened out. My lord, I have come up with an innovation for all the churches around the country. We will hang ropes over each bench. A plate for coins will ride in these ropes during the sermons. It will only move further if it gets heavier. So it will be immediately clear who did put the coins and who did not. Oh, so force them to donate, huh? How allowed. <laughs> All right, thank you. Your worship, wake up. You have your favorite croissants for breakfast today. Fortunately, the great plague of Azalea had somehow managed to enter our nation, too. Our people are starting to get blisters. As far as we know, there are not many ill people yet, your majesty. Oh, now we're getting, yeah, we're starting to drop from this freaking plague. Ah, uh, yes, we gotta do something about this plague, dude. Hold up, let me get to kill this deer first. Some healers say that the blisters should be burnt. Others swear in the effectiveness of finely shopped snakes. The third group says we must construct an infirmary of sorts. Yeah, do the infirmary. Your Highness, would you like to build an infirmary to place the heal? Yes. Ten? That's fine. Our builders have constructed an infirmary in record-breaking time, sire. You can attend it at any point to give orders about the Great Plague. Um, it's gonna cost me ten across the board to get rid of it? Do it. Worth it. Better him dropping one on occasion, right? A messenger from Azalea has come to the castle, your Highness. Should we accept them? Oh, you know, the ones that are responsible for this plague that is dealt with? Hold up. Before I execute this scumbag. Their military power is low. We have a pretty good rapport with them, but they're also ill. I'm not sure if I'm feeling that. Fine, let him in. I bow to you, King. I am Andreas, the messenger of his first majesty, Azalez V. I have come to ask for your help. Azalea is strong strongly affected by the Great Plague. Our commoners are dying in the streets. I ask of you to send us your healers. Fine. In the name of the people of Azalea, thank you, King, for helping us in the difficult situation. You would not forget? Okay, good. <gasps> oh, what is that? No! Daenerys, he did it again to me! But I treated you so well! Okay, look, dude, give me the option to build a catapult like last time. My stats aren't too high, I need to bring this thing down as soon as quickly. Give me the chance, build it! Damn it, look at all my money going away. How dare she do this to me? Stop burning the castle. I'm not sure about this. Okay, we, we, we have killed her at least. I had to kill my wife for apparently turning on me for no reason. Ugh. Okay. Oh, the money is so low. Your Majesty, drought has struck our fields. We haven't had rain for a long time. Who knows how much longer our supplies will last. What should we do? Uh, I don't think I have enough money for this. Pray for the rain? Okay, you dropped 25. Did it work? Oh, it did! The drought crisis has gone, you were right. We have managed to survive on our supplies, your worship. Good, because um, everything is low. What a day, your majesty. So much has happened. I hope you sleep well. Day 11! Okay, we made it to the to onwards to the new stuff now. You know, it's not looking too great. In particular, when it comes to the church. Everything else, though, uh, you know, we just gotta get this up a little bit. <laughs> Story of my life. Okay, day 12. The sun shines head of state in today's news. The Seton traders are once again hunt poaching sire. 
our shops, our, our ships are hard at work defending our shoreline and protecting our fish. Okay. Tomas is here. Your Majesty, I beg of you. My daughter went to her grandmother in the forest again, but she never returned. I could only find her red hat. Help me find my daughter. Okay, so this is completely brand new stuff now. Um, Sand Hunter, send the guards, not my problem. Okay. Um, what's the difference between Sand Hunters and Sand Guards? What would the Hunters be? Would it cost them to get Hunters? I got more guards than anything else. I could do guards. Then again, the Hunters would probably be more better for tracking people in the forest. Ah, oh, fine, Sand Hunters. Yep, it cost me money, as I imagined. Thank you, Your Majesty. It turned out that my daughter was eaten by a wolf. Again. Fortunately, the hunt has ripped open his stomach and miraculously saved her. Oh, okay, good. Well, I'm glad they were able to rip this werewolf apart and save your daughter. Uh-oh. What the hell is this? I am the first spirit. The spirit of the past. Only you can see me. I came to show you your deeds. Do you see these faces? All these townspeople were killed by the king. Uh, uh this... Come on, I already got through the the shepherds um, criticizing of my ruleship. Now you're doing it too? Guards, no regrets. It was a mistake. Oh god, it was a mistake. Do you want me to see the errors in my ways? Fine, it was a mistake. Your majesty, are you okay? You seem to have seen something monstrous. Maybe it was a joke? I don't believe in ghosts. Well, nothing to do with happened today. Have a good night, your majesty. Greetings, your majesty. There are still rumors that an unknown ship from the Blue Islands is planning to begin a journey to the edge of the world. Can you imagine? They think that the Earth is round. <laughs> what a ludicrous concept. My lord, we received a letter from an old lady. A certain Lady Yaga complains at her house. Wait a second. It says here that her house is constantly running away from her. She asked to send her some grain so that her hut would stop doing that. Find catcher send grain. I send grain? Okay, your majesty, I will order the grain to be sent to Lady Yaga. Let's hope it will be enough to solve the problem. Your majesty, I need to inform you that the Edekad is again sending the Holy Brothers on a campaign to the Dark Lands to fight evil. You can support them and send your knights in the name of the One God and Holy Lightning. I can join them, I can still die, I can sabotage them. You know what? I have to join because our church is so low. Thank you for the support of the Holy Lightning Believers all over the world, Your Highness. Perhaps this crusade will help Edekan eradicate evil once and for all. Well, nothing of the ordinary happened today. Have a good night, Your Majesty. That being said, we've gone long enough here with this one. We have to get to Day 11 first, which took us a while, but now we're here. We made some choices, and we'll see if these choices that we have made so far amount to anything going forward. That is indeed if you want to see some more, so do let me know. If there's enough interest, we'll definitely come back and continue going on with this run here. Hopefully you enjoyed all the information down below for King Sim. If you already have it, then hey, just a bit of a heads up. There's a new update as you can see here and more progress to be done now beyond the original endpoint. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. I'll catch you next time.